Hey there, Blue Mages, Liam here. Welcome back to Blue Academy. It is Moogle Tomestone season yet again, which means folks will be picking up Blue Mage. Uh, so we've already seen sort of this set of duties available. And the one that's most interesting to us is Orem Vale. Now, you might remember just before Endwalker came out, we were able to do the uh, turn two farm, which took, you know, 30 seconds, got our Tomestones really quickly. That is not an option this time, but we do have Old Reliable, which is Orem Vale. With a full group, it should take you under four minutes or so per run. And at four tombstones per um, per run, you get 60 tombstones per hour. So it's pretty good. If you solo, you can also get pretty close to that time if you optimize it. Um, the sort of the, one of the big benefits of soloing is that, well, you don't have to wait for other people. But then also basic instinct means you have sprint for the entire run. So you just kind of move faster. So it's actually not that much slower to do it solo. I will show a run later on that's me just kind of lazily going through it and it takes me just about six minutes, so it's still pretty good. But let's get right into it and talk about what we need to get this done. Now the main party setup that you want is going to be one tank and three DPS blue mages. And this is how I did it previously, and I had a lot of folks say, but you can do it a lot faster if you have four blue mages. And you can do it a little bit faster, but it's not a lot faster because one of them will still have to have Mighty Guard so they don't die immediately. And uh, Blue Mages are really squishy. So the run that I'm going to show in a little bit is with four Blue Mages. And you can see it gets really hairy at times. And in fact, I even die as the person with Mighty Guard. And I think that having one tank is still ideal. You no longer need to do the sacrifice strat that we used to do. You can just do five check on the trash and it's totally fine. Uh, and as long as one blue mage has white wind to heal up after the pulls, then you'll be totally fine. Um, so again, I think one tank, three DPS is probably better for this. You could do, sorry, one tank, three blues. Three DPS will not be nearly as fast as three blues specifically. Um, T2, I recommended, you know, one tank or one range and seven blues or just eight blues. Eight blues is always going to be the fastest. But in this case, I do strongly think that tanks do help quite a bit. And this also helps out a little bit too. Folks might see that say that tanks are freeloading here and taking advantage of, you know, blues getting carried and, and whatever. Um, but I think it actually is a mutually beneficial thing in, in this way. All right, so let's talk about spells here. Now, the thing is we're really just going to be taking our sort of main DPS spells here. The only differences are we're going to pick up Ram's Voice and Ultra Vibration, our vibe check combo, and Missile for bosses. One other thing that can be helpful to pick up is something like Hydro Pull. So I don't know, I'll drop off guard. Could also drop Angel Whisper. Um, ideally, people don't die in these runs, but you'll see in the AV run that I'm going to show in a second that I actually do die. Uh, and that's just, it's all my fault. But um, this is sort of the setup that we're going to be looking for. So you've got your Primal Spells, your Night Bloom, Phantom Flurry, Sopranica, Shock Strike, Feather Rain, J Kick. Glass Dance. Glass Dance can also be dropped too because it's not super strong. Um, but then you also have your other sort of main DPS spells, your Matra Magic, uh, Rose of Destruction, things that you need for your Moon Flu combo. You also, of course, need your, your finisher, your Final Sting. Um, so disregard the weird icon here, but your Whistle, Moon Flute, and Final Sting is pretty much all that you need. So main DPS spells for your opener, Final Sting combo for your finisher, vibe check for clearing trash, and Missile for killing the first two bosses. As for gear, because I know people are going to ask about it, gear ultimately really doesn't matter. As long as you're using something that will give you level 50-ish stats, or I guess level 49 is what Orin Vale sinks you to, you'll be fine. So I have a set that sinks me down for maximum spell speed and determination. So I'll just show what these are. But this is just a preference. And notice that some of these have materia, some of these don't. The ones that do have materia, I use at level 70. The ones that don't, I use them just for sinking, but since they sink, the material doesn't count. You could use, again, any gear for this, though. It really doesn't make a huge difference. As long as you're using level-appropriate gear, you'll be fine. The main restriction is going to be your spells. And to be honest, to get some of these spells, you would have need to have, you know, good enough gear anyway. So, not really a concern. As for the setup, all you do is you basically just go into your, your duty finder and you find Aurum Veil. Vale. Um, if you're going as a group, just don't set any of these things. If you are going solo, do unrestricted party 
and do level sync. You need to have level sync on. I know that the event says it does not work for undersized parties or unrestricted parties, but that is not true. Uh, that's a sort of sloppy copy and paste. As long as you have level sync on, you'll still get your tombstones. Okay, so here we are in Orem Vale. Put the whole morning getting ganked by my cat or other stuff, but now I got four people to be able to handle this. So I'm running as a healer mimicry with Mighty Guard. And the reason for that is, well, we need someone to take some hits here. And, oh God. I hate when the frogs are here. Let's two of these. The lilies are super annoying. Okay, so now we're just gonna missile boss. I also should actually have toad oil on for this. It reduces the damage I take by a considerable amount. I meme on Toad Oil a lot, but it actually would be quite helpful for this. Blue Mages take so much damage. And have such little help. our next vibe check. We might actually not have a vibe check for the next one because we had to double up on the first one. We'll see. Actually, we should have a vibe check here. Uh, I guess I will be the vibe check here. I wasn't the first person to use it, so I didn't want to accidentally double up on that one. Now, you could go all the way here before doing your uh, vibe check. Oh god, I'm going to die. Well, if they can get that freeze off, we're fine. That's fine. It's actually helpful to show mistakes. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I sometimes intentionally mess up. This one was clearly not intentional. But that's okay. Since I'm the tank with a uh, Mighty Guard, my... What the heck? My damage does not matter nearly as much. So the other three are going to do a moon flute opener into a sting finisher. I am not because I need to keep us up. I'm gonna do Yeah, that stuff. Burboro, once they get their stings off. Boom. There we go. In just over four minutes. Now, if we want to solo, things look a little bit different. Um, I already do have a full video for soloing, so I'm not going to show a full run. Uh, I will do a run right now, but I'm just going to sort of fast forward through it to show you that it's still doable. And I'm going to be taking it kind of slow because um, I'm just sitting here drinking my morning coffee. So I'm going to fast forward through it anyway. But I'll show you that it's definitely still doable. Um, but I will link to the solo guide below. And that one still applies pretty much perfectly because that was made after the Stormblood stuff. Um, but... Main differences are you're going to be picking up things like 
Palm Cure and Angel Snack. Don't forget your basic instinct. That is important for soloing. Mighty Guard is also important. And then again, you need your Missile, Ram's Voice, Ultra Vibration, and Hydro Pull is helpful. So I'm going to go find someone to uh, to slurp for healer mimicry, and then I will hop in. Actually, this looks like a white mage. White mage? Hey, that's a white mage. Cool. So I will just hop right in. And like I said, I'm going to fast forward while I sit here and enjoy my coffee. But um, if you want a full commentary run, just go ahead and check out the video in the description below. Well, there we have it. That is the solo run. Um, I thought it was going to be pretty slow. It was just under six minutes. Uh, so even with me kind of faffing about a bit, still got uh, still got an under six minutes. Um, the whole last boss was me just sitting there sipping coffee, spamming Sonic Boom mostly. So that definitely could have been faster. You know, if you get it down to about 70% or so, and then do your full Moon Flu opener into Finisher, uh, keeping in mind that we don't actually have a full moon flu and we're using DPS mimicry, so maybe 50 or 60 percent is safer. Uh, finishing with a sting, you'll you'll hit it pretty hard. Should be about 40 percent with a fully buffed sting under basic instinct. Um, so that's it. That's the solo run. Uh, as you can see, it's still doable. And if you want the full explanation for everything, just check out the video in the description below. And there you have it. A way to power farm your tombstones of what are they called? Scripture? Yeah. The regular tombstones of scripture. Um, I don't think there's going to be anything faster than this. Some folks prefer to do rival wings because they just like PvP. That's totally fine. Some folks like to do Praetorium because they like to, you know, fold laundry and, you know, go quickly raise a family and retire while running a dungeon. Um, but if you want to just power farm things as fast as possible, this is probably going to be the way to do it. The rewards this time around are sort of not as enticing as previously, but, you know, they're still not bad. Still can get the Suzaku mount if you don't have it. The Mamashiba earring is really cute. Um, so, you know, fun to get. I will be posting an updated infographic uh, for this soon. So keep an eye out for that. I'll just post it to Reddit, post it to Blue Academy Discord, post it all over the place. Um, so keep an eye out for that if you prefer a more concise thing. But obviously, if you sat around for this whole thing, you don't really care for the concise thing. But as always, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more Blue Mage stuff.